I'm Stuart Anderson and this is Jane Stevenson, my colleague, and we've been working together with Andy Street, the, uh, the public sector and the private sector. They've all come together to look at the town's fund bid. Jane, why is this so important for Wolverhampton? I think this is all part of the government's levelling up agenda and somewhere like Wolverhampton you see Litchfield Street, I've grown up here, these buildings are beautiful but it does need regeneration, it needs investment and it needs better opportunities for people living here and I think this extra money will help regenerate the city centre, Wentzfield, Bilston um, and it has been really brilliant to work with so many people from around the city on this. I'm here in the middle of our city, the historic centre by the man on the os, Beat is in the background and I think we all know in Wolverhampton our city centre has been declining over decades and we now need to evolve our high street and our city centre. We know that Beatties, we're all sad to see it go but it will be mixed use, we'll have some shops, there'll be apartments on the upper floors and at least our beautiful building will be preserved into the future. We're outside our fantastic Grand Theatre. Stuart, this is in your constituency. Tell us what this town's deal means for the Grand Theatre. Well, first of all, I was delighted that we had just under £1.2 million to support the Grand Theatre moving forward, and we've lobbied hard for that. We have an amazing arts culture in Wolverhampton, but it needs support. And we've got this great facility, and, and next to it, we have a potential arts park that we're pushing for. We want to expand our arts arts offering and what, what a better way to start than with our great Grand Theatre. We're here on Market Street near Central Library and this is one of the most important projects that the Towns Fund Board has been speaking about, the City Learning Quarter. It's going to upskill our young people ready for the jobs of the future, those technical skills as well as academic subjects. Stuart, why is this so important for our city? Well, investing in the generations to come is key for Wolverhampton. And the City Learning Quarter, shovel-ready project, nightclub's been knocked down. We can provide the facilities for our children and young adults to learn in the best environment and to see that they want to train here, come back here and, and love the city. But it's not just the city centre we need to see investment in. Where else, Jane? <laughs> well, um, as MP for Wolverhampton North East, obviously Wentzfield is hugely important to me. And from the Towns Fund, I've been trying to make sure that Wentzfield and Bilston are really well supported. We need vibrant high streets, as Stuart said. Andy Street's been advising government, advising everyone on how we evolve high streets for the coming years. That means more people living around high streets, training opportunities, leisure opportunities, and this Towns Fund money will really help places like Wentzfield, Bilston, and our city centre to get ready for the coming decades. I, I think it's really important that we've seen public and private sector come together. Uh, Andy's had a major input to that, but we've worked as one city, and that's been excellent to see.